Now we need to add some notes to the project. And there's a couple of different types of notes. If we bring up this example uh, of a, a real set of commercial plans uh, where this house up here is the new house that's being uh, drawn up. If we go over the page, we see a whole heap of notes here. And these are called general notes. Now, if you have a close look through these in your copy of this example, you see that a lot of them are very generic type notes and actually every house would have very similar types of notes as these. There would be some small changes in some areas but in most cases the notes would be exactly the same no matter which house you were drawing. So in fact you can actually copy and paste from this and put it into uh, your home drawing. So if I come down and just copy down to there and do a control C on my keyboard I've copied that section there and I'll hang on and I'll put that in in a little while. If we go over a couple more pages, you'll see the other type of note that we may come across are notes on drawings and also notes that are actually pointing out something. Let's see if we can go in there and find one of those. Usually we, there's some here. See so these notes here with the arrows and a leader going up with an arrowhead on it to point out different things on the house. If we keep going down, we can probably see some more of those. And here's some quite, when you get a lot of cross sections, uh, you can see that a lot of notes are often put in on those. So there's a couple of t different types of notes we're, we're going to look at. In this video, we're going to look at the general notes. So let's go back to our Revit. And the first thing we want to do is to, we're going to make these general notes because we have to be able to put them into a drawing sheet later on we're going to put them into a schedule so if you come into view and this may look a little bit different to you but you'll find somewhere here uh, schedules and quantities and you'll get up a new squared schedule now Revit doesn't exactly have anything here for notes um, because we need to tie it to a category and we just have to pick something. So I'm going to pick one that we won't use and that's called generic models. And you see over here when we click on that we can now access the schedule key which is the one that we want. And I'm going to change that to general notes and you can change that one to general notes as well. And click on OK. Now what you'll get here is you have a key name and comments and we can just add that comments there so we've got the key name and uh, the comments that we're going to put in and I don't think we need to, we can put in sorting and grouping sort by key name because that'll, that's going to come up as a number okay um, and we've got that set up there with key name and comments and we can drag that out to whatever size we want it so if we want it a little bit bigger we can just drag it across like so don't worry about this A and B they don't show up and we can insert data rows and you see that key name one is coming up with those data rows like so now we can also change some of the formatting and appearance of that as well so I'm going to click on appearance once I in my schedule properties and I'm going to take out the um, headers, which is this key name and comments. They'll disappear. And I'm going to take out the, any grid lines that might be there. So I'm going to just click on take out grid lines and click OK. Now all I have to do to put this in, I want to put my general comments in one of these. I can just click in there and hit Control V. Uh, and if I click on that down arrow, it will come back. You can see that all of that information has gone in there. Likewise, you can type in whatever you want to put in there, and it may be wall types. Sorry, I'll do that in capitals to match the other one. And put in some text. Oops, I'll just go back to take that cat lock off and put in some text. Or you can cut and paste from a Word document or anywhere that you have got your information from. So you can either cut and paste it in or type it in yourself. So if we go on that down arrow now, you can see that's coming up. Uh, that's, that's the general one we're seeing there. But once we get into that one, we'll be able to be able to see that wall type one still coming up there. I don't know why that's doing that. But when it, when it goes in, you'll be fine. So if we come down now and we've got it there 
what we need to do is to bring a sheet in so we can have a look at this and see if it's working. So just right click on sheet and click new sheet. You may have to load from the family's library, but we're after, a, in this case, we're going to pick the O2 metric OAC landscape and just click on OK. And that brings up our drawing sheet. You can see some of those names that we entered earlier um, at the start have come in um, with addresses and so forth. Now if we go back to our schedules quantities and find our general note schedule we can just drag that in and you can see that that is starting to form a list. Now we drag that out make it a bit wider that brings it up a little bit like so. And if you want it to go over into the next aisle, you just click on that little one there. And that will make it come down and start a new aisle. So we have them across like that. You can vary the sizes of that, obviously. Uh, and you can see if we zoom in, we've got no, um, no border around it. We've got our general notes there. And we've just got our number. And I've put in these titles here, which uh, tell us what they are. So that's how to enter some general notes. And we will be looking at you to put some of those in, not everything. It's really just to show that you do understand the system of using the schedule key to put general notes into a drawing sheet. Okay, let's, uh, let's just go. We don't really need that drawing sheet now. Um, so what I suggest you do... Oh, sorry, you can, you can bring that in and put, some, put as many in as you want from that general notes on page 2 of this task bring in maybe maybe just make one page of them that would be fine so just bring in some more cut and paste them into the different um, keys and then make sure they go across the page so you're looking at getting one full page of notes on one of these sheets so you have about four columns okay and then we'll go and now have a look at how we can put individual notes in on a drawing